Hi, I hope everyone is having a fantastic day today. Or if you're just starting your day, I hope you have a fantastic day. Today I want to give you 20 intensifiers to add to your vocabulary. Now what is an intensifier? That's a great question. An intensifier is something that adds emphasis or highlights a feeling or an adjective. It adds more strength to a word or sentence. It gives more power, more weight to what you are trying to say. The most obvious example I can give you and our first intensifier today is the word very. So we add very all over our conversations, our sentences. We use it to show that what we're trying to say is stronger or more impactful. For example, very strong, very good, very powerful, very beautiful, very energetic. We're emphasizing these feelings, these adjectives, but it can be very boring to add very into every part of your sentence. So if you are trying to improve your business English or are taking an English exam, you may need to add some more intensifiers to your active vocabulary so that you can sprinkle them in wherever necessary and not feel that you are repeating the word very again and again and again. Hi, my name is Catherine. I'm a business English teacher. I work with intermediate to advanced level students. If you are a working professional that works with English or will be working with English, or maybe you are just taking an English exam to move abroad or apply for different jobs, then I definitely recommend subscribing as my videos are catered to your level of understanding and hopefully there will be something helpful there on my channel for you. So our first alternative to very is going to be extremely, extremely satisfying, extremely hungry, extremely strong. The new job I'm applying for is exactly what I'm looking for, but it is making me extremely nervous to think I might have to do this interview in English. Exceptionally. Exceptionally tall. Exceptionally beautiful. Exceptionally difficult. Now, exceptionally adds a huge amount of impact to your sentence and can often suggest that you are above average or what you are describing is above average. So the example I gave of exceptionally tall, the understanding is most people are this height and the person you are describing is this height. So you wouldn't really say I'm exceptionally hungry. It still makes sense, but it just sounds a bit odd. You kind of use this when something is above average. I had to interview 15 candidates for this job role, but I was exceptionally impressed with candidate number seven. They really stood out and had all the skills we were looking for. So in this example, you can see candidate number seven was above the rest, above the average candidate that interviewed. Incredibly, incredibly short, incredibly long, incredibly interesting. I went to a seminar about the future of the planet and how climate change could affect our future economy. It was incredibly interesting and I would like to follow up with the presenter. So incredibly can be used as a direct alternative for very. It means the same. It's just adding impact. It's more interesting than just interesting. It's incredibly interesting. Totally. Totally impressed. Totally amazing totally forgot. Now totally is used more with an action or a feeling. Totally is another way of saying completely or absolutely 100%. So it wouldn't make sense to say he was totally something or she was totally something, but you could use it to describe your feelings towards something or your actions, I totally forgot to message my English teacher about rescheduling the lesson. Last night's concert was totally worthwhile. I definitely recommend going if the band is ever in your town. I am totally booked this week. I have no spaces for students. So think of totally as like 100%. I can't do any more. I can't feel any more. I can't add any more to my schedule, totally, absolutely, completely, 
Whereas when you say I'm very booked this week or I'm very busy this week, it suggests there is more space. You are very busy, but you could find space for someone. If I said I'm totally booked this week, there is no more space for anyone else. So totally is a good one, but it doesn't necessarily replace very. It more replaces something like completely. Utterly. Now, utterly is used the same as totally. We use it to describe an action or a feeling, not when describing someone's physical attributes. So again, you couldn't say she was utterly intelligent or she was utterly beautiful, but you would say he is utterly hopeless. Everything I ask him to do, he forgets. So completely, totally, 100% hopeless. The movie was utterly terrifying. I couldn't sleep for days. The team's performance in the championship games was utterly disappointing. Used as 100% completely. So totally and utterly are used a bit differently to very and you have to be careful where you use them. But if you are trying to say 100%, I cannot feel this anymore, I cannot fit anything more in my schedule, then you can use utterly or totally. I am utterly snowed under this week. Snowed under is a nice idiom you can use to say busy. I am snowed under. I am very busy. I have no more space in my schedule. I'm utterly snowed under. Thoroughly. I was thoroughly impressed with how you handled that situation. I thoroughly enjoyed Friday night. I hope I get to see you again soon. Absolutely. I am absolutely impressed with your grades this year. I absolutely love this song. It is my favorite. The movie was absolutely amazing. I couldn't look away. I am absolutely blown away with how quickly you have picked up the new schedule. Definitely. Now definitely is used a bit differently to the other ones that we have gone through because definitely means without a doubt or very clearly. So with definitely, you're not adding emphasis. You are saying 100% I feel this way, or it's clear to see, or without a doubt, you can tell that. His performance was definitely one of the best I have seen this year. Notice you wouldn't say his performance is very the best I've seen this year, or his performance is definitely improving. You wouldn't say his performance is very improving. So you can add definitely in places where you cannot add very, but it means without a doubt. So some other examples for you. She is definitely the smartest person I know. He definitely deserves to win that award. He worked so hard this year. This project is definitely the most challenging we've ever worked on. So definitely doesn't necessarily have to come before an adjective or a feeling but you can add it into a sentence where you might add without a doubt or clearly or obviously. Positively. This is a very nice one. This sounds very elegant when you use positively in a sentence. She positively glowed with happiness when she received her promotion. So we are emphasizing the word glowed and we are adding positively to show that it was a positive feeling, but of course glowing is a positive thing. You would never describe something as glowing negatively, but we add the word positively to make it sound more intense, to make it sound stronger. The team's performance was positively flawless. The food at the restaurant was positively delicious. Again, you can feel with that last example, you would never describe something as delicious in a negative way. So adding positively isn't really necessary, but it makes the sentence sound nice, sound strong, sound intense. Exceedingly. I am exceedingly pleased with how your work is turning out this year. The new movie was exceedingly thrilling. Despite the stormy weather, the hikers carried on because they were looking forward to the exceedingly beautiful view at the top of the mountain. Now, exceedingly comes from the verb to exceed, to outdo expectations. So when we use exceedingly, we are saying it went above and beyond. It exceeded your expectations. It was better than you could imagine. You have done exceedingly well is saying not only did you do well, but you 
did better than I expected from you. You exceeded my expectations. Immensely. I am immensely honoured to accept this award. He was immensely overjoyed when his daughter said her first word. So immensely can be an exact alternative for very. Immensely and very, you use them the same. He was immensely strong. She was immensely beautiful. Awfully. Now, awfully sounds like a negative because it comes from the word awful. But actually, we can use awfully to describe a positive and a negative. So the sentence that would make the most sense would be, I am awfully tired, I've had a busy week. Or that movie was awfully boring. So those are using it in a negative. You are intensifying a negative feeling. I am awfully hungry, when are we going to eat? But we can use it in a positive way and I'm not sure why, I wish I could give you a reason. My guess would be it's been used so often as an intensifier of negative sentences that it just slowly moved over to be an intensifier for positive sentences. But honestly, I'm not entirely sure why we use it as a positive. Some examples of it used as a positive are It was awfully kind of you to help me with my groceries the other day, I really appreciated it. He was awfully strong. You could tell he's been training all of his life. I was awfully pleased with the results after last quarter. Now be very careful when you are using this as a positive that you don't say awful, because awful is, of course, a negative. But if you say awfully, you can use it as a positive and a negative. It makes more sense as a negative intensifier, but you can use it as a positive intensifier. Remarkably, she has always been remarkably talented at playing the piano. The city skyline was remarkably beautiful. Despite being in his 80s, he was remarkably active, going on walks every day and playing tennis every evening. So remarkably comes from the word remarkable. Similarly to the same way exceedingly or exceptionally, we use this to describe something that is maybe out of the ordinary or not what we expect. So she was remarkably talented. It's almost like she is so talented that you can't believe it. Or she's better than everyone else in her class. The city skyline was remarkably beautiful. It suggests that you haven't ever seen anything as beautiful. It's above expectations. It's above what you would expect. And the last example is a really good example of this, despite being in his 80s. So the idea is the average person in their 80s would not be that active. He is above average. Highly. Highly sensitive. Highly intelligent. Highly active. A really nice phrase you can use is highly regarded and this is almost a way of saying people respect that person or hold that person to a high level. She was highly regarded as a fantastic English teacher, meaning everyone saw her as a fantastic English teacher. My brother is highly intelligent. Everything he does, he succeeds in. The restaurant we went to last night had highly rated reviews. So notice I don't say had very good reviews or very positive reviews, but highly rated. Another really nice phrase you can use is highly sought after. And sought after means many people want it. Many people want to buy something or want to own something for themselves. The new smartphone was highly sought after because of its advanced features and perfect camera. The job we are advertising will be highly sought after because it is a very good level of pay for the amount of responsibility. Highly sought after. Many people want it. Many people are interested in it. Significantly. I was significantly surprised when I walked into work to find my desk empty. He felt significantly overdressed when he went to the meeting in his suit and everyone else was dressed in jeans and a t-shirt. The curriculum at this school is significantly better than the curriculum at the last school we looked at. This job position is significantly better than the other one I have applied for. Truly. I am truly happy with my life right now. He was truly devastated when his girlfriend broke up with him. 
the boss gave me a fantastic performance review, and he sounded truly impressed. We can swap truly for very. It's a very good, a truly good alternative for the word very. Greatly. Again, fantastic swap for the word very. I am greatly saddened. I am greatly impressed by the work you have done this week. I'm greatly disappointed in the movie. I read the book and it was fantastic and the movie just did not live up to expectations. Deeply, I am deeply interested in ancient history and I found out this week that they discovered a new dinosaur bone. I am deeply upset by your actions last weekend. I would like to discuss what happened. A fantastic phrase I want you to remember, I am deeply invested in. Now this means I have a high level of interest in something, but it's a fantastic way to describe a book or a movie or a series you are watching in a more advanced level. So check out these two example sentences. I'm watching a very good series at the moment. Or, I am deeply invested in this new series that came out last Wednesday. Deeply invested. More than just interested or want to watch or like or enjoy. You are invested in something. You cannot wait to see what happens next. And last one today, curiously. Now, of course, as you probably already know, the word curious means to not know something and to want to know more. So when we say he is curiously interested in, it suggests he doesn't know and he wants to know more. He is curiously intelligent suggests I think he's very intelligent and I want to know more about him and his intelligence. She was curiously beautiful. She is beautiful and I want to know more about her beauty. I want to get to know her. I'm kind of drawn to her beauty. And a fantastic phrase for you, curiously drawn to. So as you just heard me use in that last example, I am curiously drawn to the English culture. I want to know more about English people. I am curiously disappointed in the result I got in my exam. I thought I would do much better. As you may have already guessed, this suggests that I'm not just disappointed. I also want to know why. Why did I not get the result I wanted? What happened? I need to have answers. So curiously suggests you want answers, you want more information. That is all of our intensifiers today. So that was 20 new words, well, 19 new words you can use instead of the word very. Be careful how you use them in a sentence though, because sometimes your sentence might not make sense. If you want to practice some of them in the comments, I will of course give you corrections if they are necessary or let you know if you have understood correctly and you have created the right sentences. I look forward to seeing the examples you come up with and I will see you in our next video. Have a good week. Bye.